This is the cackling song you can get at at otfi.com slash cackling. Oh! All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. We We're going to do this. We're going to do this right now. Let's go. How much do you get off? Damn you! <laughs> oh, hello, you beautiful citizens of the internet! I don't know what happened in the last 20 minutes, but I guess a week passed, and suddenly it's Tuesday night once again, and it's time to set the internet on fire. Hello, you beautiful bastards! I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. This is Night Attack, and I'm joined as always by my BFF and OAK. It's JRY, Justin Robert Young. Um, God damn, God damn, God damn it, God damn it, it happened again! Time. Uh, I have this theory that we're in a time machine, and uh, uh-huh. all we do is we just skip from Tuesday night to Tuesday night, And but every time we land, we land with the memories of the previous week. I'm pretty sure my entire life has only been this experience with you and me connecting across technology. And and you just wake up each week, and then you like look at your phones and your text messages and your emails and you're like oh wow look i like i did a th- I'm, I'm a more successful person than i was the week before i mean according to this bleep blop jeep job that i'm holding in my hand i guess you know it's like it's like an edge of tomorrow thing where i just wake up and i'm like oh, it's tuesday it's tuesday night we're live on the yeah. air and it's you and me and and, and i guess let me see uh, check my notes uh oh apparently things happened over the week and uh ah! Uh, then I, I am proud to be your Emily Blunt, uh, and then we sally forth again into the breach. I mean, okay. Uh, wait, speaking of which, can, can you, Justin Robert Young, just I mean, just yeah. tell me your middle name, your real middle name. That way, I know that you actually love me. Uh, my middle name is is Justin Robert Young. Oh, well, that bit doesn't work if I already know all three parts of your name. That's uh, that was a reference to Edge of Tomorrow. That's uh, fuck. Well, <laughs> Somebody only saw that movie once. <laughs> He only lived. He only saw live. If I, maybe they should have called it live, die, repeat. That, that would have been a I more. Guess, I guess my problem was I didn't realize there were more references to that movie than me naming a member of the cast. I, thought, <laughs> I, 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 hit, I hit pay dirt. And then turns out there was another answer on the board. So that's my bad. No worries. How you been, man? Oh my God, dude. Uh, today was a, was a real marathon is a marathon uh, because we are. Less than 24 hours away from uh, the end of the Kickstarter for Action News. Uh, we, we had a big goal today, which was to hit 1,000 backers. We did that, uh, which is why, for those of you who are watching via video, you see that I now have this Vincent Price mustache here, as opposed to my gigantic uh, uh, push broom uh, a mustache that I had in the last episode. Can, can I confess that uh, that I'm digging the pencil mustache uh, much much better? Like like I feel like I feel like you were making a statement with the previous mustache, but this one, yeah. you know, uh, this one just seems like I don't know. It, it fits your face. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm still not comfortable with it because really, a pencil thin mustache is not so much about the mustache; it's about how much you like your upper, like <laughs> the skin between your nose and your mouth. Uh, and and that I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm at about, uh, on that. But I do look. I realize that I do look like a a Honduran little Richards. Which is uh, which is a, a very interesting uh, look. By the way, for our non-American guests who are watching right now, Little Richard was famous uh, in the 1950s and 60s for doing certain style of music. Can can you just just remind them what Honduran Little Richard <laughs> sounded like? <laughs> well, this is a famous song. Uh, so yeah, you can imagine that I'm at a piano, right? As he's often known, El Ricardo Pequeño. El, El Ricardo Pequeño. <laughs> bueno, golly, Miss Molly. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you off the hook with that one. 
<laughs> Spanish for golly. And, and, uh, and Espanol, golly. <laughs> Booty fruity. <laughs> Booty fruity. All right. Uh, okay. Brian, you are on the move uh, uh, while the, the uh, action news winds down. Uh, and by the way, uh, tonight, every 10 backers, I'm going to take a, uh, a swig off this here Perone. So if you want it, get it now. Uh, Which, by the way, that. how did I go? How did I go uh, half a lifetime and not know what a Peron was? Uh, oh. uh, for those uh, the uninitiated, all of a sudden Justin pulls out as if we all know what this is. It's it looks like a bong, but with a with a, a, a an oil filter, uh, an oil uh, funnel at the end. It's like a spout, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the idea so, is. Uh, I was at a, a some uh, a go game in New York, and I uh, the place near the hotel was a fancy restaurant, uh, a Spanish restaurant called Peron. So we went, and they're like, it's you know nice and it's expensive, and uh, I see all these people like rich, expensive people that are they're like, oh, would you like the Peron? They're like, yes. And so it's this thing, which yeah. effectively what you do is you just tilt the wine into your mouth, uh, and you have to like make sure that you keep it going in your mouth and not on your face. But they had all these people doing it in, like, suits and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is this magical device that has a bunch of rich, fancy people, like, uh, getting willing to splash wine all over themselves? Well, essentially, it looks like what I would imagine if everybody was drinking beer from a boot, right? Where it's like, you gotta you gotta slurp it, and then there's that one part where everything splashes in your face if you over-slurp the, the, the boot. Yeah. No, absolutely. So, so it has that element to it, and so I wound up buying one, and it's become a big thing on Ashley's stream. Uh, so for whatever reason, I just assume that everyone, everyone I know has, especially somebody who's stayed in my house, where we often it, like offer it to friends and family to uh, to try, that uh, that you've done it before. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's rad, and I'm good at it, and Ashley's bad at it, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so you are you are taking hits on. Uh, hey, by the way, what? Uh, t- real quick, uh, press pause on everything. Time and space is frozen. Yeah. You and me, we're just two souls connecting. We're two bros, bro. Two bros, bro. Uh, time travel back in time. We're both in sixth grade. I'm reading a Pierce Anthony novel because I'm a nerd, and uh, uh, you're in Florida, uh, and yeah. also you're in kindergarten because our ages are very different. Uh, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the ghost of now shows up. And tries yeah. to explain to one of us that in the future, the more you drink wine from a boot-shaped uh, funnel device, the more money you'll make. And then, and then on the other side is like, you'll have a co-host with a pencil-thin mustache. <laughs> and then just and then, it's just, and then it's just like the the, the phase of, uh, of 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 El Pequeño Ricardo just pops up. Welcome, <laughs> Miss Molly. I will commit suicide the next day. <laughs> I shit myself, but I'm in kindergarten, so like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> That'd be really weird. Uh, <clears throat> well, so so, how how much more runway do you have? You have 24 more hours to go. 24 hours, 24 hours to go. This time tomorrow, we will be done with the Kickstarter. So, before we get into anything else, I do just want to set this up. You yeah. hit a thousand, which is why I have this little Richard mustache. Yep. But I laid out one more challenge that we could get to by tomorrow. Uh, uh, that is, uh. if we get to 1,200 backers, I will get my haircut as laid out by the internet. All right. And, and by the way, by the way, if you haven't seen it, man, these are the longest, most luxurious locks I've ever seen on the salt and pepper landscape that is Justin's head. Uh, it is. It is. Look at that, man. It it looks almost like his Wikipedia picture. Can you can you do your Wikipedia picture? <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, but you're talking about like full on shaving off the sides, a la a la Bryce Castillo. Well, two options have garnered the most votes. So obviously, one has to win, and then we have to hit 1,200. But uh, uh, if somebody can can go find it, I, I don't know what the hell. Uh... Yeah, it's uh, it's on a straw poll. Straw poll uh, for what? Here we go. We got it. One three five nine five five nine one. I get this haircut at twelve hundred Action News backers uh, on the list here. We got Mohawk, the approved North Korean haircut number nineteen. Jeez, oh, a Vidal Sassoon favorite. Uh, the Brian <laughs> Brushwood spikes. The Shinsuke Nakamura slash Tony B Casty, which is uh, the undercut with the curl. Yeah. Uh, or a buzz cut. 
And so we're going to hit uh, Man, results. Man, if you, okay, you do realize that if you got the buzz cut, you would full on become J. Jonah Jameson, right? Have you, have you ever cosplayed as J. Jonah Jameson? I have. I have actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Nobody got it because I did it on Fort Lauderdale Beach. Not exactly fucking a bunch of oh, make my yeah, no. Marvel fans. Yeah. Uh, pro, uh, pro tip, do it at a, at a con where people are cosplaying. <laughs> yeah. No. Hey, live and learn, right? <laughs> Uh, but the winner by far is the Brian Brushwood Spikes at 42%. Oh, my God. Uh, Shinsuke I mean, is it's at not, It's not far off. It's only like, what, uh, 30 away. So if there was a big swing for the Shinsuke Nakamura, Tony B. Casty. No, okay. No, I, look, I know, I understand. Look, I, I understand your fear of embracing the Brian Brushwood Spikes. But as somebody who's been there, let me just let me just walk you through. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. It, it could be anything. Right now, the Brian Brushwood Spikes are, are there. What? I also realize this that we've been we've been friends for a very long time. We've done a lot of very silly things, like on camera or, or for, like for the podcast. I realized today that I I've never had your haircut. It would it would seem to be like something that would just eventually happen for parody's sake at some point. Well, and and, and you've already shown an extraordinary commitment to the bit. Like I feel like I, I I I'm assuming, and forgive me if I'm overstepping here, but I assume. That if if the selection if you hit the numbers and the selection comes down the Brian Brushwood haircut that because I will give you the recipe and you will you can do the actual exact things I can tell you what to say to the hairstylist for you to exactly match that stuff and I'll send you the oh, product uh, and everything a hundred percent yeah no uh, that this will happen if we get to twelve hundred backers <sighs> by tomorrow twenty four hours from today uh, if we get to and we're I guess uh. Uh, what, 158 away. We need 158 backers between now and tomorrow. Okay, 24 hours. Look, uh, if you guys are on the fence, here's the thing. The good news is you're going to get a very fun game that you're going to enjoy. We played it with the family. I've already donated. I've already pledged. I suppose I could lie and, and take care of four of my girls, and they can all get copies as well. Um, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah please. Uh, yeah. Actionnewsgame.com. Actionnewsgame.com. That's all you need to know. And, and yeah, uh, each, each one, uh, each set of 10, uh, I drink more wine and I'll probably say something racist. But here's what happens now, Brian. Yes. We got to focus on you. Yes. You got, uh, while, while, while Action News comes to a close tomorrow, you are going to be off for a con. Yeah, this is a weird one because I said yes. Uh, I was invited to a convention. Not really knowing what it is. Uh, audio listeners, we are currently looking at my my face screaming on a billboard uh, in front of Roberto Viegas and Tom Merritt in the background. <laughs> um, but uh, but uh, CVX is happening from August 3rd through August 5th. I'm coming in a day early uh, tomorrow. So it's like it's going to be one of those shows where I got to go pack and, and get the hell out in like six hours. Uh, but it's one of those weird things where like absent – when I go to Dragon Con, I know I'm there. I'm there to do Night Attack with you, right? As long as we do a good Night Attack yeah. show and and I'll show up on panels, fine, whatever, 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 right? Yeah. <clears throat> when I'm when I'm doing uh some other stuff solo, it's like I'm here to 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 get paid to perform and then sell books or whatever afterwards. Like yeah. like like I grok all of that. This is one I said yes instantly to, but don't really uh, did not, I should say, really understand what I was going for until until like maybe 20 minutes ago um C cvx is apparently huge 30 to forty thousand people like what yeah that's like uh half a dragon con so picture dragon con in half in God damn. salt lake city right uh and and it's all and but it's vidcon basically and that yeah. is like it's like come meet your favorite stars or whatever so so they have they have me down on uh, a whole bunch of um, meet and greet panels, but they also have me for uh, uh, the main stage thing. And uh, and so I'm like, okay, main stage, you know, that'll be fun because most people are gonna get up and they're like, here's a clip of me slipping on a banana peel. Ah, it's crazy. Uh, but uh, but but I'm, I'm like, you know, you know what? I'm actually gonna do my best, uh, you know, magic show content or whatever. But then I realized, like, I, I, I don't know. That's an, it's an awful lot of time, and I, and 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 I wasn't clear in my mind what I'm going for. But then I realized, like, uh, hot damn, man, um, you know, I'll be damned if Modern Rogue doesn't have some real momentum. And also, this is the place where people go to do business deals and all that stuff. And I and and like an idiot, the night before I leave, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I should really 
try to secure a way to make Modern Rogue financially solvent. <laughs> And so, and so, the like, nutty like, idea. Like making, yeah, making connections and talking to people and, 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 and continuing to grow this, like, gigantic business that has massive signs of uh, exploding success. It certainly looks like Modern Rogue is, is, is taking over the number one slot, right? And so, uh, I, I guess, I guess, uh, if you're in the area, please come on out, say hello. It's in the Salt um, Lake City area. Yeah, Salt Lake City area at the, the Salt the, Palace Convention the, Center. The, the, the salt, the salt mines. Join me at the salt mines. Yep, that's it. And, uh, and, uh, and I'll say hello, but, uh, uh, man, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to go and meet everybody. So like, if you're somebody, okay, let me put it this way. If you yeah. are a predatory conniving, uh, snidely whiplash of an agent who's looking for a thick skulled mark that you can take advantage of, please show up at, at the salt mines. <laughs> To, to, in the next three days in Salt Lake City, and then and 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 tell me a lie, and I will be totally seduced. And... Hello, Brian, it's me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> is this I'm, shady businessman? I I my name is uh, Mr. Dream Maker. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Mr. Mr. Dream Maker. Well, I mean, I'm just here to meet fans and hang out here. Well, I'll make your dreams come true. Wait, uh, <laughs> yeah, but, but you don't have any breasts. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Great one. You're really funny. I can see why you're so successful. <laughs> what do you have to offer me, Mr. Let's Dream Maker? talk about you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, I mean, I don't know. I'm just here what to. What are your dreams? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I'd like, I'd like uh, to to have uh, high quality sponsors for the modern rogue, so we can make Done. that. Done. What <laughs> else? Oh wait, just just like that, it's happened. Done. What else? <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well, I guess the while collaborations. I'm at it, uh, we, uh, col collaborations. Oh yeah, we, uh, I want to do collaborations. Uh, uh, is there anyone you can connect me with? Uh, no. All right. Now that we've agreed what you get, oh. it's time for Mr. <laughs> Dream Maker to bring back a little something to Mrs. Dream Maker. <laughs> what do you say you just sign this contract where I get 75% of all the money? Well, Don't I mean... Worry. Yeah, it'll be so much of it that you... Old 75% will look like 25% in two and a half years if you catch my drift. Oh, that's it, great. It, it, a, what's the duration of this contract? Forever! Oh, okay. When do you want your dreams to end? I, I, okay, I guess I'll just do 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 I signed a contract. Congratulations! You're now a CAA client. Uh, oh no! <laughs> Man, that's the weird thing is uh, uh, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of companies seem to want to represent Modern Rogue. And all of them have very vague promises. But one thing is very clear that it'll be a minimum two year commitment. And there's no negotiation on that point. <laughs> Yeah. Everything else is very fluid. Like, oh no, we'll hook you up with uh, I don't know, you like you like um dirigibles? We'll give you a dirigible. I don't know, maybe may uh, if there's a sponsor who the can dirigibros? sponsor you, the, the dirigibros. The dirigibros. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, I don't know. That's the pimps weird. and blimps, the dirigibros. <laughs> <laughs> the pimps and brill blimps, the dirigibros. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. What does this show look like? Number one, okay, so uh, this is our new show, uh, and I know Modern Rogue is showing a lot of promise, but no. the Dirigibros Bros can really blow up. Hey, man, look, I've, I've, and I've made it very clear. I've made it clear that as long as whoever I'm co-hosting with has a salt and pepper beard, I'm I'm good. So yeah, we could do this, the Dirigibros. Bros. Okay, so I'm gonna need first. I'm gonna need at least a week, but other than that, we're good. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, the the the, the Dirigi Bros are me and you. Uh, it's our travelogue series where uh, we just go to different places and and just fuck around on blimps. Oh yeah, in my mind, it's all it's 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 got the aesthetic of MTV Cribs. It's constantly you know like uh, playing Beck beats in the background and snapping oh, yeah. and, and fifteen frames per second animation, <laughs> and then and then and then, but, and then a lot a lot of uh, of us sped up walking. From yeah, different but, places, but but like, just like from, from one side of the, the basket thing. to the yeah. other, and then uh, and then it's like, yo, man, this is Detroit, and then it, you know, 
but it's all aerial shots from from essentially the same angle. <laughs> like, yeah. Like just mirror image back and forth. And then it snaps back and we're like, here's to you, Detroit. And we toast and then off we fly to the next thing. Pimps and blips. <laughs> Derringer bros. Man, that's money in the bank. I'm going to take that to everybody at CVX. Take that, yeah. Take that to the CVS and pick me up some Robitussin while you're there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, did, wait, I said CVX, right? I didn't say CVS. Who knows? Who knows? We don't have time to go back. Uh, <laughs> Brian, I think you're going to have a great time there. I, the only thing I'm, I'm curious about is, because you've never been to VidCon, no. right? No. No, and to be honest, can 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 I can I tell you this is me overcoming a a a thing, um, look, uh, twenty years, twenty years I've been touring colleges, and there have been times that have been really really good gigs, and you walk off stage and you feel like you're famous. When going to Indonesia, right, you appear on yeah. TV, and somebody casually mentions, by the way. 30% of the whole country's watching. That's 70 million people. Uh, you're on the Super Bowl. Please do your fire eating act. You know, the next couple of days in Indonesia, there, not one person doesn't recognize you and you get to feel famous or whatever. Um, everything I've heard when I talk to other YouTubers about uh, uh, VidCon, they're all like, well, it feels good if you've never had the experience of fans fanning around you, uh, then that's fun. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to fly out just to have that. Uh, that's uh, not that that's not a delightful experience, but but I don't need to travel to do I that. I mean, I think like, number one, uh, uh, you were going to go and then something came up right this time this year. Yeah, uh, I think I played Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, oh, no, 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 no. You there was a thing I remember that you had to cancel had, it for. It was like some other big Oh, like, you know what? what? It, it was it was like up against uh, yeah, either a shoot or or a live gig or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but at any rate, uh, the, the well, I, here, here's 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 all I'm saying. You need to be going to VidCon. Like like you absolutely you are a big enough YouTube channel. This is what all the big YouTube channels do. You are making a conscious effort to not do it if you are not following into that momentum. In the same way that you have to go to this. What I am curious about, and we can follow up on this next week, is. The different demographics, because I've gone to you with a lot of cons. I think it's fair to say we've probably gone to most cons together yeah. uh, uh, over the last you know few years. What I understand and what I've seen at VidCon, because I went to an after party once and, and it was interesting, is that like take that normal con demo and drop it by about 25 years. <sighs> Everybody is 11. It's it's a bunch of eleven year olds and their moms, and you are going to be God. Uh, but uh, it, it, I'm curious to see your reaction to it. I it's it's not about fanning yourself. It's actually I mean you're giving well, something to them to meet you. Cor cor correct, and 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 that's what'll happen. I'm gonna land. I'm gonna get there, and the moment I get there, I will be very in the moment. And every single person that comes up and says hello, I will be flattered and honored, and my heart will swell, and I will be very present in the moment. And all of a sudden, I will realize I have a job to do. Like this kid may or may not remember 20, 30, 40 years later this moment, and I want to make it precious and wonderful and and joyful for them. Uh, I, I have no doubt um, that in the moment, Brian, two, three days from now, will be uh, filled with joy doing it. Uh, sitting at home comfortably, Brian, yes, is, is, is a little bit thinking about how miserable travel is uh, waking up at four in the goddamn morning and going. It, it's all I know is that the con Brian that I know and love yes. is flip flops. Backpack full of beer. <laughs> like if if somebody comes up and says that they love you, you like the uh, it's a very relaxed Brian that gives like a big burst of like, hey man, what's going on? How you doing? And then you can just like an accordion. You can just hear the effort, just kind of like, all right. Anyway, I'm gonna walk somewhere else. Bye. <laughs> like, that's about it. I'm here to have a good time. Like I'm con Brian and I love it because I have a lot of those same tendencies where it's like, Hey, look, I'm enjoying this as much as I possibly can. This is a great time. I suspect that CVX Brian is going to be much more like a Disney character or stage Brian. <laughs> if you are I'm in the open, 
eyes are on you and you're being judged. Yes. Uh, and, and you know what? Maybe maybe I'll be better for that because when we're at Dragon Con, uh, it's it's a curious, wonderful blend of sometimes, um, you know, we're, we're, we're being on and performing and then there's, you know, our favorite game is to find a, a, a totally dead bar uh, that nobody's at that we can quietly order Miller Lights one at a time while we play yeah, Hearthstone next to each here's other. Another, here's another fun fact about your favorite rambunctious comedy duo. <laughs> your favorite thing to do is isolate themselves. <laughs> Well, and not talk to anyone, almost even each other. <laughs> well, and, and by the way, I never really understood that before. Uh, and, and I don't know how much of this is me getting older or how much of it is me discovering uh, the value of, of recharging one's batteries. But it's like that's the difference between extrovert and introvert. And, and there are people who kind of swing both ways in that regard. And I feel like that's where you and I are. There are times where it's really joyful and fun to to derive more energy off of the enthusiasm of other people. But especially at Dragon Con, there comes this moment. It's like, you know what also sounds awesome? Just just getting in the headspace. Just, just, let, me, just let me let me. Let me bust out the secret mage and play Hearthstone next to this other yeah. guy. Yeah. Oh no, totally. Uh, but I'm I'm curious to see what uh, what, what what the CVX uh, experience. Well, no, know this. I am going with my game face on. Like to be honest, uh, and and longtime listeners will know what this means. In my mind, this is a NACA opportunity. NACA gotcha. was a conference where I went from zero to something. NACA was a conference where I'm like, hi, you don't know me. You don't know who I am. I'm going to tell you a story about what might be a very good show. I would like to do it at your campus. Hopefully, we become good enough friends in the next 15 minutes that you book me at your at your next thing. Um I, that is the attitude that I'm bringing to CVX. I've got my game face on. Yes, I will be happy to meet with everybody. Please come up, sign and say hello and all those things. But it's like, I want to look at this marketplace and see if there's a place for the modern rogue in the pantheon of, I mean, uh, not for nothing. Uh, you know, our friends, Rhett and Link, are, are kings. They're, they're gods. They're gods now. And we watch yeah. them go from... Other people who are on Ustream next to us to gods. They're gods. Yeah. And it's like, if there's a chance that the modern road can go that way, then then I want to make that happen. We'll see. Hell yeah, man. No, I, I think that you guys have a, have a huge opportunity there. I'll tell you what, uh, what everybody else has a huge opportunity to do, which is give us money. At patreon.com slash night attack. Yeah, in all seriousness, it's very likely I'm going to go and waste a bunch of money and just disappoint a bunch of 12-year-olds. So if you want to make things right for those 12-year-olds who have been deeply disappointed by meeting their hero, then you can give that guy money. I, real, I, I, a real good salesman, Brian. Did, didn't yes. didn't work. Didn't work. I, I thought I had something and it all melted down. Uh, 1,300. Hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Brian. Uh, what if it would it help if uh, Bryce put that beat back on and you did it uh, as as a dirigible bro? Yeah. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, what up? Welcome. Welcome to the dirigible bros. Two Rabronis. <laughs> <laughs> up on a, a balloon. Uh, yeah. Listen, this balloon it don't run on on hot. It runs on hot air, but hot air ain't free unless it's coming no. out of this oh. guy's mouth. Absolutely, we're the Dirigible Bros. We fly high, <laughs> we get high. <laughs> also, Anyhow, we want to die, <laughs> and we want to die. Why so don't we try? <laughs> Hey, who I'm likes pie? pie? <laughs> if you don't, donate to patreon.com slash night attack. That's where we fund all of our wacky adventures. Hey, go ahead and tell them, third to bridge bro. What do they get? Oh, you know what they get. <laughs> <laughs> they get the pre-show. They get the after show days early. What? You know they get that on the RSS. Too. They, they get their own RSS feed with everything all together, right? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, now here, let me show you. Let me show you the empty beer bottle corner. This is the corner of the of the basket where we keep all of our empty beers. <laughs> the corner of the basket. <laughs> is it an hour of it? It's an hour of it. Okay. Uh, an hour of it. Uh, all right. So anyway, yeah, Patreon.com/slash Night Attack, and of course, if you adjust your pledge uh, between when I'm talking now and when we next do this, you enter yourself into the hopper to see whether or not you will be a part of... Ladies and gentlemen, it's time 
for the Night Attack new Patreon name chant corner hour. So much. The fuck, fuck all. <laughs> uh, dude, I think we have an, uh, another horse boy. I think somebody jumped into the horse boy slot. Oh, wow. Oh, my word. Uh, horse Boy was, was what tier? It's $50. Yeah. No, we have a new Horse Boy. A new one. We and did. we will sing his praises. We shall shout unto the mountaintops from our basket under a balloon. The Dirigia Bros forever shall remember the name of Paul Boyer. Paul Boyer. All right, God... God, look, you're, I know you're higher than me, but uh-huh. I'm pretty high. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty high, and you, you don't always have to be one-upping me, bro. Sorry, I was too busy shouting out my boy, Paul Boyer. Okay, all right, all right look, no, I know he's, we're all your boys. You're the Lord Almighty. You're the creator of all that has existed and all that ever shall. However, we're more interested that he's sort of a fan of our show, God. I just want to go ahead and say, what's up? Keep it lit, fam. Paul Boyer in the house. All right, God, you're kind of a dick. Kind of a dick. That's all I'm going to say. Bye. Hey, who, wait. What? What, who are you? Wait, who am I? Yeah. I, I, <laughs> Didn't you know? <laughs> I, are, you, I, are, you, are you Paul Boyer? No, I, 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 uh, if, if. Dick, it, wrong number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Millennial God? Yeah, it's mo- oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's Millennial God. Um, that was awfully close to a Preacher episode <laughs> just now. <laughs> I know. Also, shout out. Uh, oh, uh, my God. Uh, and then yeah. we do got a thing. We got to do, we got to do, uh, after this, next week, here's my pitch. We just yeah. say, turn on Twitch, and literally, we just have full screen alerts that we run for a minute so anybody who subs or throws bits or whatever we just do one minute we come up with a funny way that we can just have full screen super dumb alerts on 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 the on on the screen or or we could thank the people who subscribed during this episode thank you the ganoush who resubbed for a second time uh t T brown brownell 2003 hey look at that does that that mean t brownell is is 12 years old 14 years old? Uh, yes. No. Oh. I mean, you never know. The good news is he'll be at CVX. Yeah. You can ask him. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll be like, hi, how's it going? Are you T. Brown L2003? No? Okay. All right. Just keep going, kid. I, I talked to God the other day. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't say he's a fan, but he definitely accidentally called into the show. He said it was lit, fam. Uh, so, Bryce, we got a game, right? Uh, we do have a game. So I, I you ever seen there's a there's a YouTube channel uh, called JPCMHD. Y'all y'all heard of this? It's 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 y'all might not know this. Oh no, channel, yeah, I, th- I think we both know what that stands for. J- uh, JPC, sure. what was it again? JPCMHD. Just playing character. Uh, mm-hmm. make hate. Okay. What was the rest? D. <laughs> Make hate, Dick. <laughs> Just play a character. Okay. Make hate, Dick. So I'm going to say you got zero out of six on that one. <laughs> okay, all right. Just that, 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 that's a real, real rough and tumble D&D channel. Just play character. <laughs> make hate, Dick. <laughs> He's like he's like the uh, like the like the cynical Brit of of, of pen and paper. <laughs> uh, this no, it's a uh, it, it's a channel that puts together compilations of Japanese commercials. JP for Japan, CM for commercial. HD for high definition, which is a video resolution. Mm. Uh, and Japanese commercials be weird, ain't they? Um, well, that's their word. Which one? Yeah. <laughs> Which I why we, yeah. why we talk about you know what? Week. If I have to explain to you, then, uh, uh, then, uh, I, then think, I think you gone. need to take a sensitivity course. <laughs> that's right. Well, uh, it, it's it's a it's a great resource because they they pull together all of these commercials and stuff. And sometimes when you watch a commercial. In another language, what you realize is that you don't know what it's selling. You were watching it and just... Is, have... is that something you realize when you watch a commercial in another language? Well, uh, sometimes, or... but I mean, a lot... I understand that, like, you know, oh, this is a mobile game. This is a... Okay. Oh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a yeah. snack. Right. Whatever. But sometimes there's ones that you watch and go, what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, so I put together 10 
of such videos. All right, I'm right. I'm feeling it. Uh, what's gonna happen is we're gonna watch a vi uh, commercial. Sometimes it's the full one. Sometimes it's it's uh, it's it's truncated. And of course, this name of the game is is I think. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I have to I have to intro the song. Hold on, I want to tell you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and it's, it's time, time for, for I, I think, think I'm, I'm buying, buying Japanese. Japanese. Oh, we oh, did it! Played it. <laughs> Thank you, Ross good. MC43 on YouTube for that cover that I stole. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> so we're gonna go. We're gonna go in turns, and we, we because this is a very audio audible audio. Mm, take three. This is a very <laughs> audio heavy podcast. We're gonna need you guys to take turns describing. Sure, sure, so it's, it's sure. It's a mixture of who, what is Brian slash Justin watching. Okay. So uh, Justin, I'll tell you what. I'll be in charge of the things that are happening. You just describe what the eyes of each person looks like. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Very kind. Uh, uh, very, uh, very sensitive. Uh, uh, certainly not overworked. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, all right. So, Brian, we're going to start with you. Okay. We're going to take turns, and this is multiple choice. So, at, at, at the end of the video, you're going to see your, your multiple choice options. Okay. Uh, and so, the opening frame here, we're looking at, it looks like a heat-melting cityscape with a giant sun about to descend That's right. upon it. With uh, a with a lovely fourteen year old girl, in an inflated, puffy jacket and sh uh, more less than thigh high shorts. Sure. And feel free to tell me pause if you want to. If you sure, sure, sure. Dancing. Uh, okay, stop real quick. If we're gonna describe the dance, it sure. was like, "Don't hit me, don't hit me, I'm hot. Now give me money." Is the pose? Yeah. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Universally. Oh, wait, oh, all right, all right, and then she uh, she sucked in. She kind of me hard. Yeah, she she did a, a hadouken uh, yeah. towards the screen, and it looked like it was a fan mm -hmm. that said "cooler air." Mm -hmm. uh, so you're, I, I'm so, not allowed to ask you to rewind, am I? Uh, yeah, we'll rewind it. Okay. Um, there we go. Yeah. So she's doing don't the dance. Don't hit me! Don't hit me! I'm hot. The sun is precariously close to the cityscape. Yes. Cooling, cooling water is what it looked like. The name of, on the fan was. So Brian, your uh, your three options here for what this this commercial is selling is it A, central air. Yeah. B, outerwear, or C, hair products. Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck this uh, game. Oh uh, damn, son. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. All of the imagery would lead me to believe it's central air, um, but. The entire time, her clothes looked very puffy, and her clothes looked like they were on there. At no point was there anything having to do with hair, outside of her hair being caught up in the central air blowing. I'm, I mean, she has beautiful hair. Like, I mean, that that is that is she, worth uh, noting. She does have little. lovely hair. Lovely. She has lovely hair. And teeth. <laughs> yeah. But I don't and see. Great, great uh, <laughs> eye uh, brows. <laughs> And thank that you. nose. Thank you, Justin. Eyebrows on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it's gotta be outerwear. There's something weird about the clothes she's wearing. Brian, your answer of outerwear is. Oh yeah. That's a that's a wind sound. Oh good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, is it, it's getting swifty good or bad? I don't know. <laughs> we can watch. We, let's watch the rest of this commercial here. Yeah. I was oh my say, god. That's the issue. Holy shit, it's a jacket with a fan in it that blows air inside you. That's right. This is from, let me make sure I get the name right. Uh, Kuchofuku AC Cooling Coat. They have a line of coats and pants that have these fans in them. Oh, my God. That blow in cool air. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So. And all you have to do is look like an asshole with an inflatable jacket. Like <laughs> well, I, I, she looked delightful. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so that's uh, that's that's one point for Brian. Good job. Mm. All right, Justin, here is you. Already this is the best game. I think we should just call <laughs> it. Uh, that was a great experience. Good job, team. Uh, it was awesome. <laughs> right. uh, Justin, this is going to be your video. Uh, tell me what this opening frame yeah, is I mean, like. This is clearly a Domino's commercial. It kind of is like a color. You got a lot All of right. red and red. So uh, this looks like a, a bit of a, a, a hip-hop affectation to a woman in the foreground while there are a bunch of Boxes stacked in the background, all of which have a tilted blue box with an 0123 logo on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Uh, all right, so uh, let's let's start playing. Oops, hold on. Let's cut back here. So. All right, so what happened? Oh my god. So uh she took a step back into what is clearly a set of a bunch of boxes and and the two three box stacks that were on the other uh, either side of her uh got up and started dancing with uh blue people inside of them. Meanwhile, she's continued to lip sync to what I imagine is a Japanese rap song. All right, uh, real quick, just uh, uh, what makes you think it's a Japanese rap song? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you because going. of its sense of pride, Brian. <laughs> it's just it's an unbreakable pride. <laughs> All right, your choice is Justin. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> like, what the fuck? Hey. Oh, oh, you had nothing to work with. <laughs> is it Literally, a she just did a rap. It wasn't even her. There were no context clues except for the fact that the 0123 comes in boxes. Bryce, I'm giving you a raise. <laughs> This is amazing. <laughs> is it A, a cell phone? Right, by the way, you do realize that this was the, in any kind of negotiation scenario that you have with Brian, just rig a game so I just get shit <laughs> and immediately ask him for something and he'll cough it up immediately. <laughs> is it A, a cell phone service, B, home movers, or C, payday loans? Oh, God. <laughs> And by the way, I, what makes this all the sweeter is Justin is clearly agonizing over this. Meanwhile, this smug 17-year-old Japanese woman is just like, that's right, asshole. Also, Brian thinks that all Japanese women are <laughs> under the age of 19. Because <laughs> that last one was 14, and now this <laughs> one's 17. All right, one more time. An A, cell phone service. B, home movers. Or C, payday loans. I mean, is it... If it's racist that they made a payday loans ad with a rap song, like <laughs> I mean, I, I, d wouldn't you think? And and this is me genuinely trying to help you work through this. Um, aren't some truths universal? Don't some truths transcend okay, geopolitical you know, barriers? Jesus. <laughs> moving, we're moving off this. Uh, I'm going to say that this is cell phone service. Justin, your answer A, cell phone service is. <laughs> Tell me it's payday loans. Tell me it's payday loans. It is not payday loans. <sighs> it is a home moving service. <sighs> That's why all the boxes. It's the art of moving your home. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> this is the best game ever. This is, a great this game. is my favorite, baby. Keep going, keep going, right. keep going, keep going. Brian, uh, yeah. here is the next video. Uh, okay, so we open on <laughs> great pause face. A twenty-one-year-old female. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> running a forklift, smashing it around the kitchen of somebody who's upset about this. Okay. <laughs> It sounded, um, all right. They definitely said Dash Hub at the end. And so I want to say it's for Dash Hub, our sponsor on the modern road. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so your choices are A, appliance repair, B, home movers, or C, mobile marketplace. Well, the whole video just depicted an incompetent girl driving a forklift, smashing everything. And I would imagine he's coming in saying, Hey, you're incompetent at a forklift. Leave that to the professionals at whatever <laughs> at the men.com. <laughs> I I I don't want to believe that uh that home movers would be twice in a row, but that also seems like a very Bryce trying to be uh, Mikey Newman maneuver. I can't get out of his shadow, can I? Uh, I uh, he casts a long shadow. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with home movers. Brian, you answered B, home movers. That answer is... No! 
Damn it. It's incorrect here. We got a, a little bit of the, the rest of the clip. Uh, so this is uh, this is for the uh, the service uh, Mercari, which is a mobile uh, uh, shopping center. So you can take a photo and uh, sell your goods on your phone in Wait, under three minutes. So it wasn't appliance repair or home moving. It was what was it? Mobile shopping? It was mobile marketplace? Mobile market mobile marketplace? Marketplace. <laughs> Yeah, it's like it's like those uh those ads that they got up now, like Roundup or whatever, where it's like somebody's like in a gunfight and they're like, "You gotta sell your mother's necklace," and he's like, "Fine." He takes a picture and then somebody like jumps out of the sewer and is like, "I want to buy that <laughs> necklace." And he's like, "Fine." <laughs> this is a very different version of reality very that I'm familiar specific. with. Specific. Uh, uh, see, that, that normally normally I exaggerate things to the point where they're ridiculous, but those ads are actually that ridiculous. Like it, it's people like jumping out of planes and like fucking. Going 100 miles on the freeway and shit like that. Yeah. All right, Justin, you ready for your next round of I think I'm buying Japanese? A load of BS. Oh, yes, those famous commercials. They're on TV. Shut up. <laughs> All right, here is Justin. This is your quest. This is yours. What is this opening frame that we're looking at? Okay, so uh, it seems as if there is a uh, couple actors, one adult male and one child, or as, as Brian likes to say, I was saying Brian words, a two-year-old <laughs> Japanese girl. <laughs> okay. They are both in alligator costumes. Uh, but meanwhile, the guy to the left uh, certainly seems like a white uh yeah, I believe that's our own Brad Brad Leclerc. <laughs> in oh, the, uh, he in does the have Brad's mustache a little bit. Yeah. Uh, uh, all, right. all right. So uh, one of them is lifting weights and the other isn't. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh my God! That's the portion. Oh portion. fuck off! All right, all right. So you got you got two alligators. Uh, people wearing alligator suits. Oh, and also you, you want to know what? Fuck you, Bryce. Oh. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> no. Because Brian, Brian at least got three different like like mobile marketplace and all that <laughs> stuff. I get three versions of it's candy. So your options are a hard candy snack, a fish snack, or a jelly snack. What the fuck? That's <laughs> <laughs> we can watch it one more time. Here we go. Yeah, fine. And so there's a it, it, it cuts to a, a sort of pink uh, a little girl in a pink alligator costume. And she's holding uh, what looks like a little bag of something. All right. Uh, well, <laughs> there I know are people it's... tapping out in the comments saying, "Man, I smoke too much pot for this game. <laughs> I'm out." <laughs> Hard. Uh, all right. I'm going to say that that is a jelly snack. You're going to say jelly snack. Well, let's watch the rest of the commercial and find out. That does look like a jelly snack. That's right. Nicely done. That is Lala Crush. It is a uh, little jello that comes in a cup, and another, you squeeze it to make the jello person, pop out. Another person in the chat says, Ooh, that's a good point. That reminds me. I wanted to get high today. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine he's the fucking cat in the meme with the newspaper. <laughs> he's just like, I what? wanted to get high today. <laughs> All right, Brian, you ready for your third question? All right, ready. Oops. Oh, my God. What's the what, uh, t uh, tell me about this opening frame. Uh, okay, it looks like a metropolitan um, uh, uh, restaurant. A uh, lot of. Uh, really, I don't know how all the middle school kids got in there because they're so <laughs> no, young. No. They're all definitely uh, working class. Working class? Uh, uh, of the age that people work. They're, they're young, beautiful 20 somethings. Okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Dude is just trying to enjoy his uh, 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 ramen, I guess. Um, and I think it's a salad, uh, but uh, wait, what? <laughs> I think it's a salad. Okay, okay, whatever. <laughs> if if it is a salad, he's wasting his life. What is sure. he doing? And then uh, there's a girl in a black evening dress hiding under the table near him. 
<laughs> she looks 23. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus Christ. Jesus what Christ. happened? What happened? The guy, the guy went to reach for his beer. A chick under the table started talking to him. And then he went to reach for the beer bag again. And then she whips around and she has no face. She has no face. She has no face. And like her face up. is gone and he's just trying to reach for the beer. <laughs> he wakes up in a hot spot. We can watch it one more time if you if you Yeah, please. So what is the product that this app or I'm sorry that this commercial is selling? Food is it... reviews, indigestion relief, or dating app. <laughs> <laughs> Just inspect his face, and if you find his relief, you will find your answer. <laughs> I indigestion relief would make sense because maybe he had a beer, and she's like, "Don't have that beer. You're gonna have a belly ache during the night." And he's like, "I'm gonna have that beer," and she goes, "No face for you." And then that's the end of the commercial. Food reviews doesn't make a lot of sense because I didn't see anything that indicated. Any of that, but but dating app. Aside maybe from that, aside from the fact that he probably used an app to avoid the ramen and get a salad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's dating app because if we can go back to the beginning, I believe in that entire restaurant, he is the only one sitting alone. Everyone else mm, is okay. with someone. Oh, I, although, no. I think it might be the. Uh, oh no, there's another dude in there. Yeah, but but there's a bunch of girl girl couples, so it doesn't look like a sexually charged. Vignette. Um, Ooh. Fuck. <laughs> it is very seductive with her. Jeez. Uh, <sighs> I'm going to need an answer, Brian. Is it A, food reviews, B, indigestion relief, or C, a dating app? It's indigestion relief. She was warning him against drinking the beer. All right, let's watch the rest of the commercial. <laughs> That Fuck is you. an app for Hot Pepper Gourmet, a food review and deals app. Brian. Fuck you. Oh, damn. This game is still tied up one to one. I, God, love, I do love that you believe that she was the hero of the story, though. Like, <laughs> well, I mean, she was trying she to warn him. Out, she popped out from the table. And, and like, it was no, no face. Don't no reach for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, uh, tell me about the first frame of this video. Oh, fuck you. All right, so there is a tiny little cat, and the cat has a little uh, suitcase. Uh, suitcase on its collar, and there are what seem to be the hands of negative two-year-old <laughs> girls uh, <laughs> uh, who are uh, 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 kind of balled up like paws, uh, like they might jump up and join the cat up, the, uh, up at the top of the uh, fence there. Yeah, I'm smelling right. choreography coming up. Ready, right? Can you tie them in a bow? Do your balls hang low in something in Japan? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, that's the right, so, song. Uh, they were not negative two-year-old girls. They were 11-year-old girls. And they, uh, they uh, were in uh, little kimonos, and they were dancing with cat ears and, uh, and, and having a little choreographed song. They're having a great time. Mm -hmm. Very cat-themed. Okay. So this is a pro this is a company called <laughs> God damn it. I thought if it's anything other than uh cat food, this is bullshit. And none of the answers are cat food. This is a Oh my god! Crap <laughs> agency, day camp, or credit card. No, no, please play, please let me watch the whole thing again. Sure. Please let me watch the whole thing again. So there's a lot of dancing and she's going to sleep with a little kitty cat. We got some photos. Is it a travel agency? That's a hundred percent a travel agency. Day camp or a credit card? I think it's credit card. I, th I think it's aspirational. I think they're talking about dreams can come true if you just go into debt. What would you say, Brian? Justin? I. I this is definitely this is definitely a travel agency, and the cat is their like uh, mascot because when you look back at it, all the things that they are doing, the cat is like either involved or near. Like the cat is making these dreams come true. All right, Justin. All right, Justin. Your answer. 
of a travel agency is. Oh yeah! Oh damn! Damn! In here. Yeah, this is uh, Jalan. It is a. Uh, it is a travel agency. They hook you up with hotels, and they can get you, you know, packages and stuff of golf courses. Ah, and that is course. absolute bullshit. Like, come on. That, there's no way that, that could be anything other than fucking cat food. That's insane. That, right? That, well, but you've got these, like, still photos of them. They're all dressed in... like cats. They got cat hair and cat everything. Yeah, how does this photo of them scuba diving have anything to do with cat food, though? No, I mean, that's why I was going for credit cards. Well, okay. no one knows what they're saying. It's well, provocative. Except, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. They're there's like, hey, we love our cat. We love to feed him the best. We we take time off for ourselves. But then we come back and feed the cat. <laughs> How authoritarian. All right, Brian, this is your fourth commercial. All right, I'm ready. Uh, okay, we begin uh, 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 midway through an episode of Westworld. All right. You were going to watch part of this one. Okay. Part of this commercial. <laughs> So, Mika, do as your brother tells you. I'll protect her. Ken. Wait. Okay. I need to know, mm -hmm. are those artifacts on purpose? Is that the actual content? That's, this is, this is, I have not made a mistake. Okay, there you go. Play it again. Play it again. Uh, and what we're seeing, we're seeing uh, a Victorian area, 18th century, uh, no, I guess 19th century, uh, uh, what, a 12-year-old boy and a 9-year-old girl in the back of a stagecoach <laughs> stage coach with somebody chasing them saying, look, have your brother and keep going. <laughs> So for the audio listeners, what's happening when when you hear that it, little glitch? It, it, it freezes. It freezes mm -hmm. uh, as if something's buffering, as if it's bad service. In fact, if the, if cable television or internet is one of the options, I'm going to pick that because it looks like they're making a point about a, an emotional moment is ruined when you have Time Warner cable drop you halfway through. Not that I would know anything about that no, for five fucking years. You're going to little. Bit. <laughs> All right. So your options are a fiber internet. Sushi. B, fiber internet, or C, cell phone service. I'm going to say fiber internet. I'm going to say fiber. Wait, okay. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh... This, is, this is closer because it, it could very easily be cell phone service, and the next thing he plays is some asshole at a fucking whatever Japanese Starbucks, like, like watching. Watching on a phone, yeah. Hmm. Um. Although, I swear to God, I swear to God I'm going to punch someone if it's sushi. I swear to God, if it's suddenly like, you know, don't leave your parents in the 1800s. Eat sushi instead. Uh, I think fiber internet is, that seems to me like something Bryce would have written just to appeal to my world. I'm going to say cell phone service. You're going to say cell phone service. Yeah. All right. Let's watch the finale of this commercial. <laughs> Wickedly good wherever you go. Mm, sorry, what does that say? Wherever you slice. Wherever you slice. No! 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 Fuck! No! No! Fuck this game! Fuck! No! It is Ginno Sara. It is a sushi delivery service. Because no matter where you slice the video, no matter where you slice, unlike a video which has Paul's faces, you get only the best fish cuts. Oh my fucking god, that's so good! <laughs> You're never getting a raise, Bryce! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, we're going into your fourth question here. Start, start off by telling me what this opening frame is. Okay, so uh, three chicks uh, who kind of are in like a semi uh, Charlie's Angels kind of a uh, uh, two in repose and one uh, on a knee. Uh, hey, uh, Justin, not not for me because I know, but the listeners might not know about how old do they appear to be? <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere between uh, 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 thirteen and seventeen uh, for the three of them uh, combined age. Uh, 
And Woody Harrelson in the middle? Is that who that is? So, yeah, then there's a, a an older gentleman in the back, uh, and then two monsters, one blue and one pink on on either side of it, the— It the, looks the, like the, a cookie monster on the left, and it looks like uh, the, the brother from Amazing World of Gumball, or the dad from Amazing World of Gumball on the right. Yeah. Okay, here's the commercial. Okay, so now uh, they've, they've talked, they've gone to uh, close-up shots of them having a conversation. Meanwhile, the man in the back, the older man in the back, has uh, dropped his top to reveal a, a shockingly in-fit physique. What is this commercial selling? Is it A, a delivery app, B, cell phone service, or C, elderly caretakers? Hey, for the record, can I just say there's somebody out there listening right now in Japan, and this is the dumbest game they've ever heard because the audio to them is like, because they know we think- sell elderly care. <laughs> and it's like, what is it? <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, so I think... So far, we've had a couple of these sort of cell phone or the, these these apps. Right? It does these look apps. like a T-Mobile ad. the The color palette just screams T-Mobile. <laughs> Maybe not the content, <laughs> but certainly the color palette. The guy. Oh, by the way, I don't think it was expressed very well. The old man is doing a the, does a little bit of a. He's, peck. Do, he's doing the peck flex thing. Yeah. The the uh, the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger ding dong. Maneuver, and then we see. Although that's the one that he impregnated his housemaid with, with the pet yeah. move. Yeah. Uh, well, so, no, 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 the ding dong maneuver. I, I see. Yeah. <laughs> so again, your options are a delivery app, b cell phone service, or c elderly caretakers. Yeah. For the record, fuck you, Bryce. This <laughs> game, game, fuck yes. you, fuck yes. Japan, fuck everything. Well, I, okay. I'm gonna say uh, uh, it, 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 it's a delivery app. It's yeah. a delivery app. It's a. I'm gonna say it's a delivery app. All right, let's watch the last half yeah. of this commercial. UQ Mobile. This is UQ Mobile. They sell a pay what you use cell phone plan. You are incorrect. It was cell phone service. <sighs> hey, Justin. I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to suspect that Japanese ads uh, are a bit of a non sequitur. Like maybe what you're seeing has fairly little to do with what they're selling. Mm. Sometimes. Mm. <laughs> I mean, don't I feel like a eight-year-old Japanese girl? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, Brian, you need this one to stay in the game. Oh, jeez. This is All your right, fifth question. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. If you just write on a piece of paper and show to me I... the answer. It's not going to happen. All right. I'm just saying somebody was promised a raise. Hey, describe that first frame. So, describe uh, this first frame for us. Uh, Mercy from Overwatch is playing an electric guitar that has <laughs> LED lights all over it. All right. Also, totally rocking. Also a dude. So we're a little obscuring the the title there, but this is Tama Home. Do they do A, home automation, B, home security, or C, home construction? You need this one to stay in the game. All right, right. let me see it. Let me see it again. Let me see it again. All right, one more time. So it's very, very dramatic stage lighting. They got the shine lens out. All right, stop, stop, stop. Go, Go back, go back. Sure. Because the this is the big clue is there's a moment that the frame shows um, it shows a home and it says something and it says six slash three which I don't know if that's six bedroom three bathrooms something Classic four six bedroom three bath <laughs> or a six bedroom ten bathroom <laughs> yeah. or a six bath bedroom seventeen, 17 bathroom okay, yeah. <laughs> for with yeah, eighteen those, those, those traditionally massive spacious Japanese houses that the world loves and reveres. I think I think that's a plus or minus sign next to it. It looks everything about this looks like a home construction company. Mm-hmm. Because it looks like they're selling the home, but I wonder what those numbers mean. Um, <laughs> your man Jeff in the chat says, could be June 3rd, 10th, or 17th. <laughs> Maybe they're on tour. 
<laughs> um, okay. Uh, what are the choices? The choices are A, home automation, B, home security, or C, home construction. Okay. It looks like home construction, but let me back that up. If I picture home automation, because they're definitely like, it appears like they're displaying three different plans that you can get. You can get the six, the the six, three plan, the six, 10 plan, or the six, 17 plan, mm -hmm. uh, with four remotes, 11 remotes or 18 remotes or whatever. I don't know. I'm going to say home automation, home automation. Right. Wait, what, what were the three options? Uh, your three options were uh, home automation, home security, and home construction. Mm, you go automation and not security? Yeah, because I think they're all very secure in Japan. I think they got security all locked up. All right, Brian, your answer is... No! Is it security? It is home construction. Tama Home makes... God damn it! God damn it! Fuck this game. Tom fuck, home. fuck. Uh, very... Christ, you were so close to a raise. I can't believe it. <laughs> and by the way, uh, uh, the chat had it right. These are dates. This is a uh, 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 a fair. They are doing like a like a, um, oh. like a touring and an open open house sort of thing. Yeah. Time at home. Uh, so, Justin, this is a victory lap for you, but we do have another question for you if you'd like it. Uh, yeah. In fact, on this question, mm -hmm. I'm betting two points. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're going to bet your of your own points. I'm betting two points. In fact, no, no, I'll bet three, whatever. But whatever, whatever God damn it takes. My brother we is in the chat. Jay, if, if Jay tying, is watching, so. and Jay said construction. He was right, and I was wrong. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got – Well, how about this, right? We do have a tiebreaker, so let's say you kind of double or nothing on this one, and if you get it. And if you don't, then we'll, we'll play that last one. All right. Out. That's fine. All go. Right. Here we go. We're going to watch the whole commercial. Uh, All right. what, what, what's happening? All right. so, so, uh, a, a housewife uh, of the tender age of 21 <laughs> has opened up her windows, <laughs> and uh, she's got three flowers on the windowsill, and it's a very pleasant, enchanting melody. Bring her flowers. She's watering them. So we're 16 seconds in. What's happened so far? Oh, so the flowers started dancing after they were watered, and then they uh, you showed a logo, and then she started watering them again. So uh, she kept watering them, and uh, there were two new flowers that sprouted up. They started dancing again. She closed the window. That's it. Right, so is it options. for a search engine, house sitting, or securities trading? House sitting would make the most sense. At it does effectively show that you could hire their house sitters, and they will make your plants better and healthier than when you are there. Mm -hmm. However, I am going to say that this is a search engine. You're going to say this is a search engine? Yes. Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I just have this strong vibration that if I open an account for free at Kabu.com, I will have initial fund handling commemoration in Japan, cash back, compa, Kabu Trader debut commemorative campaign with Stipuri. Mother fucker. Really? <laughs> it's securities trading? It is securities trading. It is the largest financial online securities trading section of Mitsubishi, the Mitsubishi Holding Group. <laughs> <laughs> and so we have, uh, we have to go to sudden death. This is the best game. I have to scratch all this out and now we got to go to sudden death. All right. Both, no, I no. fuck hate you. You're never getting a rig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, you're both gonna play in this one, so you're gonna, both gonna have to text me your answer. Oh ABC. Jesus Christ! <laughs> first, describe what the scene that we're looking the at. The opening is frame. The opening frame is uh, is from the end of Assassin's Creed One, <laughs> and only there's there's uh, somebody playing a uh, an accordion, and it's a Labrador Retriever, a golden lab, and there's also a lover and his mistress uh, about to leave each other for the first time. 
Let's watch the ad. Ni Simbo, tenemos mucho que decir. Ni Simbo, ni sé por dónde. Ima, hitio na kaisha, ni Simbo. Now I'm oh going to give you, now this is not in a normal question format, so so give, give me a second here. This is a commercial for Nishinbo, which is a large corporation in Japan. Nishinbo makes a lot of different products. Of the three, which does Nishinbo not make? A, oh. automobile brakes, B, wrinkle-resistant shirts, or C, pregnancy test. Again, the answer that I'm looking for is which of these three does Nishinbo not make? So this is like Globochem is the company. Which mm -hmm. of these does Globochem not make? Not make. And so, our evidence that we have is uh, what appears to be a, a vignette in Venice uh, of, of a Labrador playing a uh, accordion while a sexy backless uh, woman of 24 yeah, and European descent. <laughs> that, that's how he knows it's so right, is because she's European. Yeah, no, she's seen every day of 28. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I want you to text me your answers real quick. God so damn that, it. Because you're both going to enter. And mine, mine, mine has been texted. Okay. Uh, um, all right, hold on. Uh, I'm going to okay, do the, my... the The options are A, automobile brakes, B, wrinkle-resistant shirts, or C, pregnancy test? A, don't do that. Uh, all right, I've texted my answer. Oh, oh stop <laughs> it. <laughs> you just texted, fuck you, come oh, on. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I must have slipped a finger. <laughs> I'm gonna say, the one that they don't do is... Um, <laughs> one last time, it's automobile brakes, wrinkle-resistant shirts, or pregnancy tests. This is Okay, there you go. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Brian, your answer was wrinkle-resistant shirts. And Justin, your answer was pregnancy tests. One of you is correct. And to Justin, I say... Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! God damn it! God damn it! I, I, I thought for sure pregnancy tests was so obviously out of left field... That I thought for sure that was a psych out maneuver. God damn, damn. No, damn. I would just think that that the the I went with the other dude just because that would seem to be the chemical company, right? That like, is, like 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 mm -hmm. the, the the chemical company would be able to make breaks and some compound that they would get into shirts to make it wrinkle free. Well, but you can also do the opposite, which is like fashion and lifestyle is wrinkle free shirts and pregnancy tests. Yeah, <laughs> and then what? What fashion lifestyle brands are uh, there? Like, 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 like Pfizer doesn't own Armani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you're not wrong, Walter. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> this is part of the dog theater campaign, by the way, for Nishimbo. But, yeah, they do electronics, automobile uh, uh, products, textiles, plastics, and renewable energy. Well, congratulations, Justin. Condolences, Bryce. Uh, maybe yeah, next maybe. time. Condolences on your bank account, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> you again, foolishly chosen your pride over money. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you want to get in. Jay, Jay, by the way, straight teleporting from second grade texts me, haha, the old punch Jay on the arm when he wins the game is needed here. <laughs> Which which was definitely a thing a, I would do. What a long way to gloat, Jay. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you want to get in early, in and find out about new games and stuff and contribute before before the live shows, go to the Discord, nightattack.tv slash Discord. I post all sorts of stuff about the games like this one. I gave I, I we I, I really posted this one myself, but we always get a bunch of last last week's was all written by everybody, so uh, Right on man. Uh, uh shall we? Absolutely. We've been holding this off for a while. This is the last episode of Night Attack. Yeah, uh, we we are uh, no longer doing the show because Brian and I are both uh, signed on now with uh, MTV officially. <laughs> for we're be, yeah, we're going to be doing the Dirigibros. Uh, Dirigibros. Uh, it, the, the, it, we didn't want to do this uh, uh, when we first started talking about the concept uh, 30 minutes ago, but uh, we've since been contacted... <laughs> Uh, by MTV, and, and just a few seconds ago, we both signed straight to series. It's going 34 episodes. <laughs> Yo, take a look at this side of the basket. 
<laughs> By the way, the bathroom everywhere. Bathroom blips. <laughs> Yo, wake up, wake up. We got cell coverage again. Come on, man. I love it. That, 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 it's not. It's not a dirigible. It's just a hot air balloon. I know, but we're the Dirigible Bros. We're the Dirigible Bros. <laughs> Um, shall we take a moment to do a bit of diamond time? <laughs> Indeed, Brian. You can go ahead and shout out your projects by heading on over to reddit.com slash r slash diamond club or diamondclub.reddit.com. We begin with Open Bayou. Hey, everyone. Are you still sad Nertacular's over? Well, wipe the tears of sadness off your face because you get another chance to hang out with the other diamond clubbers at Dragon Club. Dragon Club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what's great is I was like, uh, wow, it must be hard to translate the symbol of the Diamond Club so smoothly, but then it's clear where you spent all your energy and you had nothing it, left it, over. <laughs> at Dragon Con, a beautiful but hopefully not uh, too hot downtown Atlanta. Are you going to Dragon Con? You need a room or a ride to Atlanta. Add your name to the list or look for people offering a room or ride by going to bit.ly slash what eight five collapse fuck what eight five collapse fuck or no no, no. Sim- collapse fuck no it's definitely col- well i think it's supposed to be collapse it is it's collapse fuck it is collapse fuck they they spelled it so, up. the misspelled collapse <laughs> so, all right or, or, or you go to bit.ly slash dc to dc again that is bit.ly slash uh letter dc number two dc uh uh and if you're already added yourself to the doc new sections have been added to see if diamond clubbers are actually interested in doing things outside of dragon con like touring cnn with action news uh, a Georgia Aquarium, only Diamond Clubbers, not the Night with Dragon Con, and the Centennial Olympic Park and Legoland. This is amazing. And uh, Dragon Con has always been kind of our flagship con. Uh, it is our Super Bowl each and every year. It is probably the biggest collection of Diamond Clubbers uh, uh, all year round in any place. So uh, I would highly recommend if you are in the area, go ahead and get yourself in on that dock. Because uh, that's going to be the – you'll be able to figure out a, the cheapest and best way to get there. Heck yes. Meanwhile, Snowshoe writes, hello, Snowshoe here. Me and my friends at Missing Sentinel Software made a tabletop card game called Save Atlantis. Uh, Save Atlantis for the 72-hour game jam Ludum Dare 39. You'll find yourself stranded on the fable island of Atlantis, where just it, uh, where it's just a shadow of its former glory. As you explore the land, you're at risk for running out of power. Play with friends to see who can survive the longest. The game in its current form is free to download uh, for print and play or through Tabletop Simulator. This is just a first step. We hope to make improvements in the future for a full print run. We'd love for everybody to try it out. Give us feedback on it where to get it go to uh, the print and play is at bit.ly slash save atlantis mss that's save atlantis mss you can play it with tabletop simulator feedback hit up art shoe that's at a r t s c h u at missing sentinel with hashtag save atlantis or the mss discord server uh thanks again and have fun thank you so much snowshoe uh and of course from pele ken Hey, y'all. I don't know if you're all boycotting the podcast awards after last year's fiasco, but my podcast, Today's Tea with Kenny P, is in the nomination list for people and or for comedy and people's choice. I can't think of anything that would go wrong if a bunch of known Diamond Group members were all to nominate the same podcast. You can only vote once, so go to podcastawards.com if you're into it and nominate Today's Tea with Kenny P for comedy and or people's choice. Uh... uh <sighs> This does not serve as a real endorsement. Don't worry, Todd. Nothing's happening. Somebody yeah, you know wrote what? As a matter of fact, I'm just reading the thing. It's fine. Uh, uh, Todd Cochran, who almost certainly is watching this. Todd, I want you to know that we hate this person. We 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 have excoriated his name and we've we've banished him from the community. So the only way this person should win is if the <laughs> our collection of people, whatever you want to call them this week, uh, <laughs> just hates them so much. Nobody vote. 
nobody go to what's the website podcastawards.com Podcast and nominate today's tea with Kenny. definitely don't participate with that because uh, we hate pele ken yeah and we hate we hate hey today's tea with kenny p fuck you yeah huh? we we hope you definitely don't win and we hope that people definitely don't vote the maximum number of allowed times which appears to be one uh get fucked <laughs> That was it. <laughs> no more. Just, just that. That. I just, just want to give disgusting. I just want to give Todd Cochran the biggest hug. Just the biggest hug. He just needs a hug so bad. Yeah. Who knows, man? You, well, hey, listen. When you go to Hawaii, that'll be uh, that'll be the first thing you do off the plane. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because you got to get the lay. They give you the lay when you. Get yeah. Yeah. So it'll be second. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I may, I may, you know, I, I, I don't mind spending a few hundred dollars to pay someone to go hug him. Oh, Jesus. I mean, hey, you but I mean, like, now. I mean, like a really good hug. I mean, Wait, I want him task to have it in, in Hawaii. Get, you can just pay somebody a task rabbit in Hawaii. You just go. Is, hug, that, talk, is, is that technically prostitution? If you're just saying just go and hug him. I mean, you're good? talking about a really good hug. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, you can offer a hug. Can you pay somebody to offer a hug? Can you pay – what if what if you wanted to pay specifically for a hug, but you specifically wanted one of the parties to really dislike it? Is that legal? To give a shitty hug? Yeah, like like hug somebody uh, – I mean it's not illegal, Walter. <laughs> You're not – it's asshole. not illegal, Walter. You're just an asshole. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. Um, that man uh, needs a uh, hug. He needs a hug. Good. Apparently these things aren't open, the nominations. Yeah, also, wasn't that 20 minutes ago that all this happened? Why are we – it's already happening? Yeah, well, there's, it, there's no voting. It's a nomination period. I think Ken wanted us to make sure – No, that, 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 all that was over a year ago because we were driving back from Politicon when uh, – A year ago. Hey, yeah, when, when, when all that was going down. You know what? Um, given that we just announced that Night Attack is ending, it seems like a brand new show would be eligible. Yeah. For, for whatever this podcast award is, I mean, Night Attack's over, right? Night right? Attack, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be triple A underscore Night Attack, triple <laughs> A zero 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 one Night Attack, uh, 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 dot MKV. <laughs> Welcome to Movie Drive Minute, presented by CosmicRadio.tv for the week of July 31st, 2017. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. When this is over, you're going to jail. Accessory to assault, resisting arrest, endangerment of lives. I guarantee you, you and all your buddies, I'm going to put you away for 850 years. Let's go check the scoreboard. Team Frogmans are in 6th place with $362.1 million. Team Core Killers are in 5th place with $386.7 million. Team Scotch Bros are in 4th place with $423.6 million. Team Big and Tall are in 3rd place with $596.6 million. Team Attack are in 2nd place with $626 million. And in 1st place with Atomic Bond bringing in $20 million to bring their total to $759 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your Move Drive Minute for the week of July 31st, 2017. A load of BS in the chat says, it's cool. I just need the Dark Tower to make $5 billion. And then I'm set. I'm set. What was what, what was the thing that you uh, that you tweeted today? Well, that, Mo that Movie League Mike retweeted somebody else saying that, that uh, Dark Tower might be the second movie in the, a row from the same studio to have a single digit Rotten Tomatoes thing. Um, and, and he later said that he doesn't really have any. Um, oh, oh, that's that's David Chen from Slash Film. Yeah. 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 So and, and he says via Richard uh, Rushfield, uh, which I, I guess I guess reading from his tweet, it sounds like somebody saw it and thought it wasn't very good. Well, or that they're kind of sampling what the critics are saying from the screenings and are like, wow, like nobody likes this. Like, it's not just. Uh, he goes on to say, I know some people who know some people. Um, 
someone asks, and presumably they know some people too. And Richard says, so they claim. What I what I assume is, yeah, that this is either some kind of uh, uh, Rotten Tomatoes meta sneak peek, or just like a, 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 a there's a group chat of critics that like all twenty of them are like, this is booty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a load of BS says he knows Idris Elba and he hates it. Uh, does that mean Idris Elba help, hates it or? No, he's he's saying that the person that he he is that that guy says he knows is Idris Elba, and he's like, oh, "Fuck, got it." All right. Well, uh, hey, let's talk about the most important thing, which is: Are we going to hold on to second place during this draft? Uh, we are currently only thirty million up. And we still have, what, three weeks for Spider-Man Homecoming and War of the Planet of the Apes to make some money for Big and Tall. Um, we've got Girls, Girls trip, trip. Girls, Girls trip, trip overperformed. Girls trip. Overperformed in a big way. Uh, I, th I think we have a good chance at second place on this. If we do, it's going to be by the skin of our booty hall. Yeah. Well, luckily, can't get an infection there. Nope. Uh, yeah, no, big uh, – I'll tell you what, Girls Trip uh, could be – one of those, you know, what we've always said as like box office re uh, receipts have kind of declined. Yeah. That you, what what doesn't happen are these like random hundred million dollar movies. Girls Trip might be a random hundred million dollar movie. Yeah, no, it's it's it's, it's already a, the number three buy. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a Blumhouse style pick where it's like it was cheap and and they made it for a, a target audience and they appeared to have run away with it. Um, dude. Dude, uh, I'm already excited about the winter. This is the best game. This is the best game. Our lifetime was nothing but playing this game. I love it. It's so good. Uh, yeah. Wait, did we decide last week who was going to be in it? In oh oh in the draft. Uh, no, we need to shore all that up. Uh, I mentioned there was somebody I wanted to invite. I don't remember who that was because I do know uh, we should invite Corey Martin. Uh, yes, because it's on Monday. The draft is on Monday, not Tuesday, which means that they might have Oh, that's right. We to, we also talked about extending to Jeff and to Carboni. Anthony Carboni. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, okay. All right. Well, we'll do that over the next week, and we've got uh, stuff being picked out. Um, dude, <clears throat> Justin, you, yeah. you, you got to watch Ozark. You got to watch Ozark. You got to watch Ozark. You're all in on this Ozark, huh? Yeah. It's, it's, it's good. Agonizing to watch, um, and and I would imagine from Bryce's perspective, it's like, oh, it's a guy who, you know, the opening scene is, oh, it's a guy finding out that his wife is cheating on him, but uh, being of the age and the demographic where that's a real thing that happens to people I know, and uh, the weird business like arrangement they enter into their marriage like it was it was agonizing to watch the first episode and i just loved it it reminded me of um uh, you watched the shield right i did not no uh okay well there's this sense of a trap closing constantly and yet the main character keeps being able to say the right things at the right time not to make everything better but to just live a little bit longer and uh, it gets better as the series goes on. Ozark gets that from the very first episode. It's great. I really enjoyed it. Mm. All right. That'll be on the list. We're, uh, I think we're out of, of, uh, of, of the, the, the Ashley and I shows, which is why we went to Master of None last night. But uh, oh, I think no, we're no, no. in. I, I can almost yeah. guarantee, like, like Ozark is already, would you say, Bryce, it's already better than the first season of Master of None? Uh, I didn't love Master of None, so I, I, I that's, those that's two. Excuse. Those are two way different. Like you know, it's yeah. like like I mean, we all know that grilled salmon is way better than pork chops. Like I mean, we all like everybody <laughs> knows that. <laughs> Fair I enough. Think, I think comparing it to like something like Breaking Bad, which starts a little more atmospherically, I think Ozark is still very good at getting you into the action and thriller. By the elements. way, directed by Jason Bateman couple episodes he did for for the episodes yeah 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 he uh i mean he did that that uh that spelling bee movie right like uh, that was at his first uh feature film uh directing job that is that is that right. the one where the climactic scene the kid is going heron herring Her 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 he hero hero heroin hairline Her hairline <laughs> heroin Her heroin <laughs> um Oh, there's so many people who don't know what we're talking about. Um, I love it. Hey, can I plug a thing real quick? Plug it, plug it, plug it. I talked about it last week. 
we are uh, in uh, we're we're over halfway on the slots being filled. Um, I soft sold it last week. I want to sell it hard this week. If you're somebody who wants a full a full peak, if you and, and this, is, this is this is a business class. I'm teaching a business class at a place called Wizard Academy that is uh, utterly wonderful and magical. Um, uh, it 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 it's expensive. It costs what business classes cost, so it's like twenty five hundred dollars. But it's a two day course. And if there are only 11 slots left, if you want to stay on campus, that means you don't have to get a hotel. That means you don't have to go off campus. That means you, all the meals are catered, all the, the beer and wine you want the entire time as we're learning everything. You get three nights, two days. Also, your spouse comes free and you get to see me tell the absolute unrestricted truth about everything I've done in video all of the hard numbers, all of the ideas that that got us to wherever we are, uh, however, you know, whether you think that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, but if you're somebody who thinks that uh, whether you want to uh, build an audience online with video, whether you have a business that you think that having a video tribe element to your advertising and marketing would be a, a good thing to do and take it from me a guy who was the victim of a 4chan attack attack in which i was called a pedophile by thousands of of kids um the uh, it, i was very glad that i had a, an online video presence so we could very quickly react to that strange artifact of the internet culture we live in uh it's a it's going to be a really good class it's going to be uh, just all the truth I can possibly give to you at an amazing, magical place at the Wizard Academy. Go to wizardacademy.org. Take a look at the class. It's called How to Build an Audience with Video. It's going to be August 29th and 30th. Uh, realize that when you buy in, uh, you also get to bring your spouse with you. And, uh, and it's a lot of fun. And to be honest, the real heroes are going to be, um, oh, shit, that video. They, they posted that video, didn't they? God damn it. It's me with my shirt off. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, okay. Wait, yeah. Let's go. Where, where's that? Where are them nips? <laughs> well, that's yeah, a, a little. But so the guy in the back here is Brian taking Brian off his shirt. Brian, Brian so is here on the right. Uh, mainly we're talking about how you start from ground zero. If you're somebody who knows that video should be part of your business's online strategy, <laughs> and you know that this is your virtual avatar, the way you reach out and connect with other people, this is a way to virtualize your brand and build a tribe around. You've <laughs> got customers, you want fans. And we need to know about video already. You need to understand that video matters before you get here. But having said that, man, you're gonna get a peek under the skirt to a level that you've not believed. <laughs> I'm gonna give you all the inside details on how we built Scam Stuff and Scam School all the way from the ground up, how we're launching the Modern Rogue. We're only nine months into the Modern Rogue and we're already creeping up on a half million subscribers. I'm gonna talk about tribal marketing. Yeah, basically my role, having worked with uh, small to medium-sized businesses primarily for the last 18 years, is to help you guys take these brilliant, wonderful insights and apply them to your business in a way that is both effective and efficient. Uh, I'm, Where, I'm when do you take your Could shirt off? Stop down. Yeah. What, what was what was this with all the shirt? What do you mean? It's his business shirt. Well, I, I know uh, you don't you show up and. It's the academy. It's a business school. This is my business shirt. People are going to spend thousands of dollars to come here, and you're just okay. Are you one of us? Uh, yeah, Brian. Brian, are you one of us? I, I mean, to do this class, you need to be one of us. One of us. One of, one us. of us. One of us. One of us. Welcome to the fold, Brushwood. So please join us for an important, totally professional business course on building tribal marketing through viral video. We'll be super professional. I like your shirt, Brian. It's real good. It's my business shirt. <laughs> So anyway, uh, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's 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 going to be three nights, two days, uh, hanging out. We're going to tell everything, and they're totally not a cult. Uh, Wizard Academy, totally not a cult. Uh, that is fucking awesome, dude. And and by the way, if you have had a, a, a drink or two with Brian Brushwood, you understand intimately that Brian has been itching to get into business speaking since... 
the Forever. fucking moment he was born. I don't the, know like, what it is that is in me that wants to do this so bad. I just love like 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 I, I th- thirty minutes into meeting anyone, I'm like, all right, so how can I how right, can I help that poor dad? Let me get my whiteboard. Yeah, which is literally what happened the first night I came into this house. It was, it was. You I definitely got, got an, an hour and a half of what rich dad poor dad is with all the drawings. It was a good presentation. It was a fantastic presentation. It was a little bit lit. All right, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even kidding, Brian. Tell me you can go back in time. Sure. And you can be equally as successful as a magician at like you are or as a business speaker. And the money's the same. Your life is the same. The only difference is your craft. What would you prefer? Would you would you would you take away your magic proficiency to be that proficient in Business can can I be honest? I I have wanted to um to Jay. To... Why not both? Don't ruin my hypothetical, Jay. <laughs> Jesus. So so this is a true story. Like this is something I've thought about for a long time. This is something I always wanted to get to a point where I could give advice and and help people out and do kind of business speaking. However, I deeply resent people who teach who didn't do it on their own, who didn't do, who, who spent the last 20 years learning how to give talks to other people, but never did it on I, their own. So it's been, you know, I, I'm now 20 years, coming up on 20 years since I quit my day job. And, uh, and, and only now at 20 years into it, do I finally feel like, okay, you know, uh, you know, I'm still on the journey. I'm still figuring out where this is headed, but I finally feel like I can speak with authority, especially on the subject of, of video marketing, because, uh, because, uh, I, I missed it by one year. I was one year late to the YouTube revolution, but I was there in 2006 and, and it, it, what, six different properties built and executed and run over that time and, and uh, were on track for two of them to break the million subscriber mark and a third one creeping up on the 100,000 mark. Um, you know, I finally feel like, so, so the answer to your question is I wouldn't change a thing because I, I've always felt like I don't have the right to teach until I've successfully done it on on my own. Does that make sense? A hundred and fifty percent. And 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 uh, uh, I, I would I would say that if if that were your proficiency, knowing you, you would have found a way to talk about a thing that you were good enough at. But uh, long story short, you have a natural talent for it. It's something that you are very passionate about. Uh, the fact that this is the first time that you are doing anything like this, yeah, is, is kind of mind blowing to me because uh, I, I think that. There's there is no conversation that I have been a part of uh, with you where we're talking to other people like name a name a friend of ours that that we've actually done a show with or run into physically that hasn't ended with uh, Brian after hours laying out like this is why you got to do this. and This is why you got to do this. Hey, what are you guys doing for this? Hey, you should really, really think about this. This was us at. Fuck whatever that restaurant was in Venice Beach, talking to Auntie Donna, just fucking drilling into those guys when they were yes. doing their LA show. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, what are you doing? What you gotta get on Patreon? You gotta do this. You gotta do that. And now they're on Patreon and they're making money. Br- Brian has a track record of success, without a doubt. Yeah. Uh. I well, certainly a, a, a successful record of of annoying everyone <laughs> with with involuntary motivational speeches. And, and, and take your advice and listen. Like, it, it's not bad advice. It's good advice. It's really good advice. And uh, if you have the cash, go do this. This is a a that Wizard Academy thing is no joke. And Dude. when they say free food and free food, they got some good ass boots and some good ass food. Like that's mm-hmm. uh, listen. Twenty five hundred. Oh, that's right. Uh, Bryce is an alumnus. I paid. Yeah, I paid for Bryce's way. That's right. Yeah, and you really do get that's all the booze, and they got snacks and non alcoholic beverages, and the food is pretty good. The food ca- catering. Oh, uh, dude, and that class was no joke, right? The uh, the one we did on uh, uh, marketing. Yeah, they're all. Uh, it was it was very businessy. Yeah, I'm I'm more on the creative and technical side. So I know, I know, but but I was so thing, glad but... that you were there, so that that the, yeah. it gave us mutual uh, language to discuss. But yeah. but again, the real treat is the people you meet while you're there, and uh, and I believe um, Daniel Whittington will be doing his tour of Scotland, uh, where where he takes oh, the whiskey, you. The whiskey yeah, tour. the whiskey tour. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, uh, Mike TV, hit me up. I, I'd like to figure out a way to to get you out there for part of that. Uh, we'll see. Anyway. Uh, yes, uh, uh, only 11 slots left. Uh, uh, I, at this point, it seems like 
folks, uh, I, I, I was coy about inviting our crowd out to it, but at this point, I'm going to say, uh, uh, if you're on the fence, now's the time to jump. Uh, it's it's going to be a good, good time. Jump in, and I think you'll you'll really, really dig it. Hell yeah. No, go check that out. Uh, where, where do people go, Brian? Uh, wizardacademy.org, and you should see it. Uh, it's called How to Build an Audience with Video, August 29th to 30th. You'll see it if you go to classes and then on-site classes. Yeah. Uh, it's really amazing, man. The whole campus is gorgeous. And yeah. uh, oh, As a matter amazing. of fact, uh, Nate Staniforth, uh, uh, we, we shot a vi- the video with him there, and and I didn't mean to talk him into signing up for the class I was teaching. I was just talking about how excited I was about it, and, and he was like, uh, wait, and my spouse can come? And I'm like, yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I'm going to sign up. And I'm like, oh, shit, uh, I guess this is happening. So uh, really, really excited. Nice. Uh, Waffle Lava says, "Is there a discount if you're a local and don't need lodging? Can you just uh, come out if you're if you're local to Austin?" Uh, no. Uh, well, there I mean, is it's, a it's, tuition it's, only. Option. Yeah, the yeah the tuition is the tuition, uh, and I, for what it's worth, I highly recommend you stay on campus for the chance to connect with other people. It's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, it costs what it costs, and if you want to decline the the room, and if you board, want to decline like like half the awesomeness of being there, <laughs> also yeah, then like, you're and, welcome yes, to do that. Waffle Lava gets specifically who lives an hour away from where the Wizard Academy. Yeah, is. trust me, you want to stay on campus. It's pretty great. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, Bonnie and I are are the ones who are always going to courses last minute, and because we live like five minutes away, it's like all right, I will just stay up here. Uh, all right, man. Well, uh, hell, what did we learn tonight? We learned that Bryce is deserving of a raise, but just has his alignment slightly oh, no. off. <laughs> just <laughs> saying, just saying. <laughs> My alignment is, but yet he doesn't quite have his priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. We learned, we learned that uh, that that hot damn Tuesday nights is all that matters. Um. I swear, every time we do this, it's just time traveling from one show to another. Uh, can you promise me something? Yeah. At some point during the CVX experience, you will just tweet to me, at Justin R. Young, yeah. just the average age of the people that you've met. <laughs> yeah, but don't ask context, him. You don't get to just, ask just them. Just I will, at I will Justin ask. R. Young, uh, 11. Like, <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll keep an eye on twitter.com slash wood because that. that will definitely happen. I love you guys, man. Die in a fire. Actionnewsgame.com. See you next Tuesday. <laughs> Night attack. 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 Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>